Now you might have heard that America just hit our debt limit. And you might also be noticing that, well, nothing has really changed beyond the headlines. Now I just recently released an episode promising defaults, some social security checks maybe bouncing, and a cameo appearance from at least one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. So what's happening and why isn't it happening? Well, simply put, America's tank is currently on E, but we're still coasting along. You see, America's been living paycheck to paycheck since, well, since that one time under Clinton where we actually turned to budget short plus. What a good year. We're just trying to weather the storm and go from paycheck to paycheck. Just hope that the next tax season will get us there. Now, currently the tax dollars that America collects last until about June or July. From there, put it on my card. Now what happened this week was America hit a self-imposed credit limit, which means it can't borrow more money until someone changes something. Now that doesn't immediately mean we're just out of money, it just means that the bath is now draining with no fresh money coming back into it. Now two things are really postponing this tire fire from igniting tomorrow. The first, uh oh, creative accounting. Now the treasury is postponing making non-essential payments right now to get the limited cash moving into things we need to pay for right now. We don't need to pay this guy so I'm going to take some of these earmarked funds from him over here so we can keep the lights on for another few weeks. Now most of the money that is currently being reallocated to pay for things is coming from pension accounts. That promise of future money to government employees is slowly being drained of cash and instead being replaced with IOUs. Huh. When the government called Sam Bankman Freed over to testify, I didn't think it was for accounting advice. Wait, so you're saying we can just drain these accounts of their cash and instead put in some promise money and then use that cash to buy other things? Neat. I'll do that soon. Now the other major thing that's postponing this crisis is another tax season's coming. Janet Yellen's really piloting this plane with alarms going off everywhere and January 23rd in her sights. Gotta make it just a few more days and we'll be swimming in all this fresh revenue again. So everyone remember to pay your taxes early, in part because Biden might be bouncing some of those refund checks. Now to beat a dead horse, I want to summarize everything we've talked about so far. What just happened is we lost access to fresh debt. We're dealing with this by A, draining other government accounts and deferring payments of non-essential things to preserve the limited cash we have to spend on essentials, and B, we're just sort of holding our breath for non-debt revenue generating tax payments that are going to be coming in a few days. Now it's predicted that with all of this prolonged monetary strategies, well it's going to be leaving us limping and then we're going to run out of gas and start missing payments in late June or early July. Which can we really make it only half a year on tax funding alone? Yikes, episode for another day. So now we're all just sort of collectively at this point where only an act passed by Congress and signed by the president is going to free up America to start raising the debt ceiling and borrowing some fresh cash again. And trust me, I have no doubt that Congress is going to make like James Bond and definitely wait until that last grain of sand is teetering on the edge of the hourglass before we actually defuse this bomb. I guess you could say, right now we're on borrowed time. Thank you and that's all I have to say about that. Hello YouTube, I'd like to thank my patrons over here for helping me put on my videos. If you want to support independent nonpartisan news looking into the overlooked, join this growing list of exceptional individuals by clicking on that link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring. And lastly, as always, thank you for watching.